We're gonna be working a lot in After Effects today. This is kind of the final form of the thing that we're getting into. Swerving in and out of various uh, 3D accoutrements. If we make a new composition here, I'm gonna bring in one of those Italian plumber blocks, .glb, this is a GLB file. But this is a real 3D object, it has depth. I'm gonna open up Adobe Illustrator here. This is just a circle, it's got a stroke on it. And then I've gone to Effect, 3D and Materials, Extrude and Bevel, come over to Materials. I've given it some roughness, I've made it very metallic, which is gonna make it reflective. Just come on down to the bottom and say Export 3D Object, and then you can send out that GLTF or the USDA. The other day together, here's basically where we finished off. The person cut out, we had their board cut out, we did a big, big day of roto brush here to get this chopped out for us. I'm gonna duplicate one of those, and then I'm just gonna remove the roto brush from it, and that's gonna give us our clean plate. We need to extract some data from this, so we are going to 3D camera tracker effect and apply that. It's placed these little track points all over. They are appearing on points of contrast that are consistent throughout the image. If you twirl into the advanced, you're gonna see the average error, which is, you know, how erroneous this might be. We generally want a number under one. You wanna clean it up. So this person is moving around. They are not a suitable candidate to get points on them. So you probably want to select any points that appear on that, that moving person and get rid of them. I'm gonna select all of the points over here that are hanging out. And you can see that this uh, big circle feels correct in terms of being on the ground. So I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna say set ground plane and origin. That means that zero, zero, the middle center of our world is over there where that target was at. I'm going to right click, I'm gonna say create a null and a camera. And if I put the word stuff, a two dimensional layer between the board, the guy and the clean plate, you see stuff is neatly contained behind this person. But if I want stuff to live in the world, I simply must make that a three dimensional layer. I'm gonna call it the position of that null. I'm gonna copy that position and I'm gonna just paste it over here. It's behaving as if it is stuck to the ground and it helps because we put a null that we know was tracked to the surface. So we could try to rotate it to be in line with the street. We might kind of bring it down. So you see this wonderful widget here, this gizmo. If you hover over and you just grab say the Z here, then you can start to tilt that away. We're gonna switch into world axis mode, meaning this gizmo is now aligned to the world that we're living in, not the object. Or let's switch into view mode. All of the axes are aligned to where we're looking. Make sure that you are in advanced mode here. A couple of taps on the A will bring you the ability to give this an extrusion depth. What do you think about this? Let's do some true 3D things. Let's just drag our globe out here. So we are going to pick somewhere for a gulb to live. So I'll just right click on that. Let's create a null. I'm gonna find the position of that. I'm gonna find the position of Italian plumber block parent using the pick whip, holding down shift, point it to that. Here, make sure we're in object mode. We'll just raise it up a little bit and maybe I will shrink it down. You can see, whoop, we got it. Twirl down into the transform attributes and I'm just going to hold down option Click on the orientation. I'm gonna type in wiggle. I'm adding an expression here instead of using keyframes. I want this to wiggle, say 0.5 times a second, 90 degrees. And if we just kind of scrub through, you can see that the block is having a tumble. The board and the guy are in front of the blocks. Therefore, they are going to appear to be in front of the blocks. Now, if I wanted something say in front of the skateboarder here, then let's bring some rings out into the mix. Selecting the 3D camera tracker. Let's say we start around here. So I'm gonna go ahead, create a null there. So we've got another track null in the world. <laughs> then we are going to take our ring, parent that to the track null. And we need to make sure that this is gonna be in front of the guy. We're gonna move it up off the ground. We're gonna scale it down quite a lot. This is feeling a little bit more like it's in the middle of the road. Stay creative, be kind to each other, and I'll see you all around the internet. Okay, bye for now. <laughs>